Today's agreement builds on the work that we've done to deepen defense cooperation with allies across the Atlantic, from northern to southern Europe, from the Baltics to the Black Sea. Uh, in 2021, we signed a defense cooperation agreement with Norway. Earlier this month, we signed a similar accord with Sweden. Earlier this week, we signed one with Finland. Collectively, these agreements underscore the shared commitment by the United States and our European partners to bolster European and transatlantic security. Denmark remains an essential partner in this effort. Uh, Lars and I will have a chance to sit down after we sign this agreement to go through the many issues and the many areas where the United States and Denmark together are dealing with the challenges of our time. And we are looking very much forward to welcoming our close Nordic uh, neighbor and country, Sweden, to NATO um, sooner rather than later. And, uh, and this defense agreement is a, a stepping stone towards a more secure uh, uh, Nordic uh, region. Uh, it is a part of a puzzle we have uh, made during the last couple of years, enhancing our defense budget, welcoming new members to the NATO alliance, and now these uh, beef bilateral um, agreements. Good morning, Secretary Blinken and Foreign Minister Rasmussen are signing a defense cooperation agreement between the United States and Denmark. The agreement sets forth the framework for enhanced defense and security cooperation and partnership between our countries. As an original NATO membership, net NATO member, Denmark is a long-standing essential ally and strategic partnership. Partner. We look forward to deepening our already close cooperation.